Uh, it's not very common that uh, lamps are completely upside down, but then it's pretty common that they are twisted to the side, like quarter of a of a ring twisted to either side. And lamps that are upside down, the the problem with that situation is that sometimes you don't know which direction you should turn it to and sometimes you go in with your right hand and turn it to the left and that's a pretty easy work and and everything is good but sometimes it looks like no, feels like nothing is happening then the only thing you can do is change your hand and try to turn it the other way and try to get a feel for which direction is easier and it is really important not to try to turn the lamp against the direction that it, the lamp itself wants to turn to turn the head up. Uh, without a doubt, it is possible to turn a lamp that is upside down by grabbing the front feet and twisting the body. But the downside to that method is that uh, the front legs are only connected to the body with muscles and tendons, not a joint like the back legs, which makes it's harder to use the front legs to twist the whole body and that of course is the most important aspect of it is to be able to twist the spine and with no connection by a joint to the spine of the front legs it is a little bit harder and I much prefer getting a grip on the spine itself by grabbing the torso or the shoulder blade and then your power your twisting power it goes straight into the spine but if you only twist the front leg itself and pull it then the muscles and the tendons are give a little bit but it is harder to twist it by only pulling the front legs because the muscles and the tendons give a little bit of a slack, so power is lost there. This lamp that I'm talking about added another project by putting his head back after I turned it around to the right position. So I had to go and get the head And then I could start by pu start pulling it out. Here we have a lamp that's upside down, and uh, we are assuming that I have confirmed that it is upside down. And then I go inside and with the hand and take the wire with me and try to get the wire behind the ears or the horns. And the hand that is left outside is the one that controls that the wire always has a little bit of attention on it. Because if you don't have tension, there is always a danger that the wire will slip off the head. Then we use a delicate amount of power and twist the head of the lamp and the spine follows, so the whole body follows. And sometimes you have to really take care that the feet also turn with it. A tip is to use the pinky finger to hook into the legs 
and turn them as you turn the head and then you got both legs and the head in the pelvis and if you get the head and the legs correctly into the pelvis and start to pull the rest of the spine and the body also turns Thank <laughs> you.